Dylan Michael on the mound for Southern Miss tonight. 2-2 to Dean, swung on, lifts it high to center field. Warner, though, drifting back and makes the running catch. And there are two away. 1-2 to McGee. Swing and a miss, and Michael struck him out, and that's it for the Privateers. One two pitch popped up out toward short right field. Racing in is Irby, and Mason will get there, make a little basket catch. So Miller flies out to shallow right field. So quickly two away for UNO here in the second inning. 3 2 to Vayon. Breaking ball, strike three called. He caught him looking. Good pitch there by Calder Michael. That's it for Vayon, and that's it for the private tier. In early March, 1-0 pitch, line drive, base hit, down the left field line for Braley. Braley around first, he's digging for second as McKay gets it back in, but in standing up with a double is Braley. Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday afternoon ball games. 3-1 to Cooper, swung on, high fly ball, down the left field line, going back to the wall, out of here! Home run for Coop. How about that? Storm Cooper. It's a three-run home run that just got over that left field wall. And just like that, the Golden Eagles have made it a three-to-nothing ball game. How about that for Storm Cooper? One-two to McGee. Swing and a miss. And Nelm strikes him out. And that's it for McGee. And that's it for UNO here in the top of the fifth inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left. They've left seven tonight. We go. The left-hander kicks and fires, runner going, pitches a ball, and that's a stolen base for LaMarcus Boyd. Boyd off and running with a pitch, steals his sixth base of the season. Swings at this one, high fly ball, not hit deep down that left field line, racing over near the line as Slater, does he have room? He did, he, did he make that catch? I think he did, yeah, back out of sight. 0-2 to Vayon, swing and a miss. I have to throw it down to first, but Bowen will do exactly that. That's a third strikeout of Vayon tonight, and that'll do it for UNO here in the top of the sixth inning. Here's DeMeo, kicks and fires, swing and a miss, runner going, and down to second base goes Slater with a stolen base. Driver to Capilano, swung on, line drive, base hitter is it? Diving try by Warner, did he get it? Oh, he did. Walner grabbed that one. Beautiful catch by Walner. Looked like that was going to drop in for a base hit. Pinch from Driver. Swung on bouncer right side. Cooper got to it. Spins and throws to first in time to get Dean. Driver 0-2 to McGee. Breaking ball, swing and a miss, and Driver strikes him out. And that'll do it for McGee. That'll do it for the privateers here in the top of the seventh. 2-1 now to Boyd. Hits it high to left field. That's driving McKay back to the wall. Home run out of here. Lee Marcus Boyd, the hero of the first game of the doubleheader on Friday with that 11th inning home run. Gets his second of the year as he powers that one out over the left field wall for home run number two and a 4-3 lead for the Golden Eagles. The Golden Eagles get their 37th home run of the year. Cooper in the second. Solo home run by Boyd. There's one hit pretty good to left center field. McKay chasing it, and he won't get to that one. For Doe around first, he's heading for second, and there with a stand up double. Here's Daniel Keating now. Baker to the plate, runner going. The no throw down to third base. Bordeaux steals third. Bordeaux with his seventh stolen base of the year. 2-1 pitch, breaking ball, hit towards third, and down the left field line, past the diving third baseman, Baker. Bordeaux will score. Keating's headed for second. He's in there. Now going to turn and head to third. Here comes the throw off the mark. Keating winds up at third base. And the Golden Eagles have a 5-3 lead. This is in college. He's not too far removed from the college game. 1-2, Slater back up the middle with a base hit to center field. That'll score Keating, and the Eagles lead at 6-3. Slater drives in his 18th run of the year. 1-2 to Randolph, swing and a miss. Struck him out with a breaking ball. Took something off of that one and got Randolph way out in front of it. One away. Two down to Warner. He hits this one to left field. Driving McKay back. McKay leaping up and could not make the catch. Out of his glove and rolls to the warning track. And Warner down at second base. Top of the eighth. Runner at second going. And he'll steal. There's the throw. And he's out at third. They thought perhaps Braley was too far off the bag, but Braley raced to the bag and got there and slapped the tag on Vaughn, and that's going to do it.
Taylor 0-2 to Irby. That's in the dirt, got away from the catcher, and Walner's going to score from third to make it a 7-4 ball game. 1-2 to Irby. It's just a center field, slicing away from the center fielder who's chasing it. It's over his head. A one hopper off the big black wall. Irby around second. He's digging for third. Here's the throw. It's high and off the Golden Eagle dugout fence. But safe at third is Irby with a triple. There's a ball hit down to third and past the third baseman by Boyd and down into that left field corner. Irby will score Boyd around second and puts on the brakes. But Boyd drives in his second run of the night. Bob, top of the ninth inning, 1-1 one, one pitch from me at ground ball to short. Boyd's got it, steps on second, throws the first double play. 1-2 to Dean, swing and a miss. Eagles strike him out, and that's the ball game. This one going to belong to the Golden Eagles this evening at Pete Taylor Park as the Golden Eagles pick up an 8-4 victory over the Privateers.